What are the best racing games for PC? Whether it's dominating Muddy Tracks and Dirt Rally 2.0 or embracing the magnificent Mexico of Forza Horizon 5, in today's video I'm going to show you the 18 best PC racing games on the market. Another long-serving title is of course Assetto Corsa, AC. Kuno's do-it-all circuit racer serves as much the racing fans as it does road car enthusiasts with driving physics on a racing wheel that more serious Forza and Gran Turismo players have always pined for. The variety of machinery is solid in the Ultimate Edition version of the game. If you're on PC, the selection of cars and locations is near on endless, thanks to the dedicated and active modding community. The racers are just as dedicated, though the platform lacks the framework of discipline to get the more serious drivers away from those with less discipline and a penchant for contact. At the very least AC is a great game on which to build up your driving skills, if not the very best to partake in racing at the highest level. Autosport is Codemaster's easiest, most entry-level track racing game. The car handling is very forgiving, but with just enough fight in it to teach you the basics of corner braking and throttle control. Outside the car it does as deep as you're up for, though. It's got full race weekends, typically strong opponent AI for Codemasters, and tons of variety in its racing formats. Although the super satisfying team management elements from previous grid games are paired back here, who didn't swell with pride when they finally got that BNO sponsorship in Grid 1, it's still a great point of entry for people curious about sim-style racing, and fun for more hardcore drivers who just want to relax. Need for Speed Heat is a thrilling racing game that mostly nails the elements that made previous NFS entries so successful. Solid racing mechanics, excellent car customization options, and over-the-top cop chases. The game has a cool day and night mechanic that lets you embrace brighter, daytime racing scenes, as well as high stakes, underground racing at night. Palm City looks great in either light, and gives the game visual variety. The character customization and improved narrative also make the game more enjoyable than the last few entries, despite the lackluster multiplayer mode and some unclear controls. Series fans should not hesitate to pick up this one. Assetto Corsa Competizione should be your game of choice if you are looking for an incredibly detailed sim racing game with amazing graphics and realistic driving. This game is perfect for a sim as you can literally feel the different tire grips and the different suspensions in cars due to the amazing feedback of this game. Although it is limited to GT cars only, there are plenty of them to keep you entertained for a while. The different types of game modes alongside the variety of iconic real-life racetracks make this game a must-try for all sim racing fans. Hot Pursuit is a driving game frozen in a particularly special time for arcade racers. The purest essence of need for speed before the series went all open world, it delivers exactly what the title promises, in race after race, with no downtime. Enjoy the simple life as you aim a European exotic down a stretch of hauntingly beautiful Pacific Coast Highway with a train of police cars following in your wake. It's aged like an Oaksmoke A-list or two. The roadside textures and car poly counts might not be able to compete directly with the latest releases, but the overall aesthetic in Hot Pursuit still looks luxurious, and above all, fast. It was a sad moment when it was announced that Project Cars 2, PC2, would be delisted from sale. The game served diligently as a beloved sim racer for a broader audience than the likes of your racing for more than six years and remains a great point of reference for aspiring sim racers. This is because it is one of only a couple of gateways to a more authentic and unintimidating sim racing experience for console gamers. It represents a significant jump up from the likes of Forza and Gran Turismo without alienating a large portion of those players. Still very much the sim racer of choice for many racing communities, those who got in there early remain loyal. It has a great selection of tracks and cars, competent dynamics on a racing wheel, day-slash-night cycles and various weather options. Whether your thing is historic sports cars and touring cars, or modern GTs and single-seaters, PC2 has a little something for everyone. Find a hard copy for console or do what you need to do to get it on PC and you'll find the servers are still up and perfectly functional. In Wreckfest, your goal is usually to cross the line first, but pure racing isn't the only way to do that. Crashing into your opponents to whittle down their vehicle health is a valid way to win, or if you trust your driving ability, you can try to outrun all the other racers. There are also elimination modes that require you to be the last vehicle standing and a vast array of vehicles to choose from. With an impressively accurate damage model and the ability to pit school buses against golf buggies and everything in between, grab some pals and hop online for some of the funniest racing moments you can have in a video game. 
Fans of F1 will want to give F123 a chance as soon as possible, as it really took steps to improve everything it could from the previous release. The new story mode from the previous game returns in this entry, giving you a full and exciting career to experience. Basically, the entire experience has been reworked from changes as simple as the UI to changes as big as the gameplay mechanics themselves. Whether racing solo or taking to the online queues, you're in for some tricky races with F123. This is the descendant of Simbin's once mighty racing empire. Think of it as GTR Online. It's the ruthlessly authentic car sim you remember, but retooled for online free-to-play. The GT Racing is beautifully modeled and captured through a good force feedback wheel. The online competition fierce and well-structured, and the catalog of cars and tracks deep enough to really specialize in a certain series thanks to that free-to-play model, which is also its weakness. Once you get the cars on the track, it's all terrific and familiar, but off-track, Race Room is all about selling you bits and pieces of the game. Pick a series you want to race, and immerse yourself in it. There's more than enough to learn about vintage touring cars to occupy you for months, if not years, before you need to go dribbling over the in-game store menu again. Closing our list of the best racing games for PC is the Crew Motor Fest. Although it doesn't have a number in its title, it's the third installment in the series. Instead of spanning the USA like its predecessors, it focuses on the beautiful Hawaiian island of Oahu. From the bustling streets of Honolulu to volcanic slopes, it offers diverse landscapes. With numerous races and events to participate in, you'll never find a dull moment. You have hundreds of vehicles to test, from sports cars to even airplanes and boats. While the graphics are radically different from the Crew Motorfest's forerunners, the shift to a smaller location allows for more detailed and unique environments. In 2018, Forza Horizon 4 appeared on PC just two years after its excellent predecessor, which made some people question the necessity of the series' every other year schedule. Yet, developer Playground Games touted that the open-world racer's new features would make the purchase worthwhile. The company was 100% correct. With Forza Horizon 4, the thrilling racing and music festival formula expands with new vehicles, fresh and addictive solo and multiplayer modes, and seasonal effects. The changing weather patterns are easily the game's best aspect, as they alter how you approach driving. For example, the scenic lake that you whiz by during the spring, summer, and fall may freeze over in the winter, allowing you to drive over it as an alternate route. Likewise, spring's rain muddies courses, making cornering a chore. The seasons shift every week, so you aren't stuck in one for too long. Factor in the new performance-enhancing skills, gorgeous UK-based environments, returning barn finds, well-curated soundtrack, and Forza Horizon 4 stands as one of the best racing games to appear on PC in recent years. Burnout Paradise, originally released in 2008 for PC, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360, is one of Criterion's best games, so it only makes sense that Burnout Paradise Remastered is even better. On top of some welcome graphics enhancements, PC players get to experience the previously console-only Big Surf Island and all its potential for stunts and havoc. Paradise City's map is as enjoyable as ever, too, whether you are just driving around or completing the many available events. Although some of the original game's pain points remain, an annoying crash cam, some menu quirks, none are severe enough to seriously detract from the title's satisfying vehicle handling, expansive map, and many unlockables. The Codemasters developed Dirt 5 harkens back to the 1990s, a time when Colin McRae Rally and Sega Rally Championship elevated extreme racing games. Like those games, Dirt 5 isn't concerned with realism or deep customization options. Instead, the Rally Racer wants you to barrel your way to victory on winding, mud-covered tracks. While Dirt 5 isn't wholly original, it succeeds at delivering a loud, colorful racing experience for folks looking for a PC game packed with high-speed escapism. With Phil's review of Forza Horizon 5, he zooms in on the level of refinement that's taken place in the Forza series. No sweeping changes have been made in the newest entry in the series, but a meticulous level of craftsmanship is on display. The Playground team has spent countless hours polishing the hoods of 500 cars until they gleam, and the same is true of the environments in the new setting, Mexico. The seasonal playlist is present and prominent from the beginning, forming the heart of the gameplay. You'll find yourself taking on unexpected challenges and utilizing your entire stable of cars in pursuit of new rare additions. As Phil put it, we've had plenty of looter shooters, but Forza Horizon is slowly turning into the first looter racer. In what is technically the eighth game in the Forza Motorsport series, we go back to the beginning in a reboot of the series. Revisiting classic tracks from the Forza Motorsport games, the high-fidelity racing sim sees you drifting around Maple Valley and Le Mans in the highest-definition graphics yet, 
with stunning ray tracing providing the most beautiful atmosphere, day or night. In our Forza Motorsport review, we do address the fact that there is little character between races, unlike some other games in this list. But then, Forza Motorsport has always been about the racing. If that's what you want, then 2023's Forza Motorsport is realistic, gorgeous, and sufficiently challenging. Plus, with over 500 Forza Motorsport cars to collect and upgrade, you can easily sink hours and hours into perfecting your racing line. We couldn't help but include another installment of the NFS series in our lineup, even though we've already mentioned one. Unbound is the latest addition to the franchise, offering the core illegal street racing gameplay that fans have come to love while improving on the formula and opting for a unique combination of realistic and cartoonish elements in the art style. With over 150 cars to choose from and countless customization options, you can let your imagination run wild and create the perfect vehicle to take on the world. If you don't know your pace notes from your drive shaft, Dirt Rally 2.0 is not the racing game for you. If you're looking for a casual driving experience, just getting from A to B a bit faster than you would normally be able to on your daily commute, try Dirt 5 instead. In Rally 2.0, your co-driver will launch instructions, numbers, and directions at you thick and fast. If you can't handle the varied terrains and hairpin bends then you'll be smashing into a tree before you know it. As you'll find in our Dirt Rally 2.0 PC review, this tire-burning sequel is unapologetic in its hardcore sensibilities. Unlike more casual racing games, failure here is regular, and the slightest error will be ruthlessly punished. Heavy crashes overwhelm the senses like a flashbang has exploded on your bonnet. If you're caught behind the pack, the introduction of surface degradation will make even driving in a straight line a struggle. But, if you know what you're doing, there are few better approximations of this demanding discipline than Dirt Rally 2.0. Just as we did in our Dirt Rally 2.0 impressions, you'll be doing a lot of crashing. Codemaster's driving game doesn't come with a tutorial this time, you'll only learn from successive trips to the hospital. Also failing to make the drive from previous games is the procedural track generating system, your stage. Instead, each race is meticulously handcrafted, inviting devoted fans to commit every nefarious twist and turn to memory. That's the only way to master Dirt Rally 2.0 and, if you don't embrace its obsessively singular vision, you're finishing last. With its regular online racing leagues and meticulous car and track modeling, e-racing is as close to real racing as you can get on the PC. That also means e-racing is something you need to work up to. It has no meaningful single-player component and, with its subscription fees and live tournament scheduling, it requires significant investment. Oh, and a force feedback wheel is quite literally required here, that's not a saying the gamepad support is poor. The game just won't let you race unless you have a wheel. But for a certain class of sim racing fan, there is nothing that compares. The very best e-racing players often compete in real motorsport too, and make a career out of esports sim racing. And having first released now over a decade ago in 2008, it's consistently stayed astride with the latest simulators each year. Quite an achievement! So, did you like the games I recommended? So leave your like, subscribe to the channel to follow me and activate the bell because I post a lot of videos on this channel and you can't miss it. Thank you very much for following me this far and until next time, bye!